Well, Governor Malloy says that change is always difficult, but adds that a better job could have been done getting the word out about the changes at the DMV. Our News 8 team coverage continues now with our chief political correspondent Mark Davis also on the scene at DMV headquarters in Weathersfield. By lunchtime today, things were somewhat back to normal in Bridgeport and here in Weathersfield. But even though it had settled down somewhat here, sources say there were lines out the door at the Waterbury office today. The governor said that the problems at the DMV were because change is always difficult, and it's difficult to get the word out to everyone. We're going to make uh, Connecticut's government um, more cost effective uh, and more efficient, uh, but that doesn't come without change. And uh, on the other hand, you know, we, we, you know, maybe they could have done a better job in explaining the changes. Yesterday seemed to be the perfect storm at DMV. Because of all the publicity about closing of offices, people were concerned that offices were closed, and they all came to Weathersfield and Bridgeport. For the most part, our, those two areas were really swamped. The commissioner says a lot of people mistakenly thought that this was the week DMV offices were closing, when it was really just the learner permits and new licenses that had been consolidated to the hub offices. We shifted staff around from some of the other offices where they weren't as busy because they're not doing the permit testing. But Curry admits that if the state labor unions reject the concession deal that they are voting on today around the state, then the lines at the DMV will get even longer. Because then, those offices in Enfield and New Britain and several other towns will close for all services. The commissioner says that late this fall, the office in Hamden will also become an additional hub office, which should also help to ease things up. In Weathersfield, Mark Davis, News 8.